Owning a car is more than just having four wheels and an engine. Today we are delving into the world of car diagnostics with the Ansel 8310 OBD2 car diagnostics scanner. Buckle up as we explore what makes this tool a game changer for car enthusiasts. Hey guys, just is hard here. Before we dive into the features, let's check out what comes in the box. Unboxing the Ansel AD310 reviews an OBD2 scanner and a user manual is straightforward, nothing too fancy. Now at just $24.99, the Ansel AD310 is a popular choice among car owners and mechanics. You can find it in major online stores like Amazon, AutoZone and local auto shops. It's an investment that pays off in peace of mind and saved trips to the mechanic. This budget-friendly automotive computer reading device weighs only 0.23 kg with a 128 x 64 pixel display and an operating temperature range of 0 to 60 degrees Celsius. The interface may feel a bit dated, but it gets the job done. Powered by the vehicle's battery, its compact dimensions make it easy to handle. Connecting the Ansel 8310 is straightforward. Simply plug it into your car's OBD2 port, usually located under the dashboard or behind the ashtray. Turn on the ignition and you are ready to go. Navigating through the Ansel 8310 is a breeze with dedicated buttons. Enter and exit for selections, up and down scroll for effortless menu navigation. Operating on a Linux system, this tool offers a range of features, from reading and erasing error codes to reading live data stream, viewing freeze frames, running IM monitor readiness test, and checking vehicle information and evap leaks. Now let's address some common questions about car diagnostic scanners. A car diagnostic scanner is a tool used to retrieve information from a vehicle's onboard computer, helping identify issues that may trigger the check engine light. It is easy to use most DIY-friendly car diagnostic scanners. Simply plug the scanner into your car's OBD2 port, turn on the ignition and follow the on-screen instructions for valuable diagnostic information. Now a diagnostic scanner identifies issues but doesn't fix them. It provides information for you or a mechanic to address specific problems. Depending on the issue's severity, you may fix it yourself or consult a mechanic. Common problems like loose gas caps or faulty spark plug can be easily addressed using the internet or a repair manual for guidance. The check engine light indicates a detected problem. A diagnostic scanner can read error codes, helping you identify the issue. Yes, after fixing, use the scanner to clear codes and turn off the check engine light. Most modern cars are compatible, but it is essential to check for compatibility with your specific make and model. While live data captures real-time information, freeze frame data captures a snapshot of your vehicle's condition during a fault. While some advanced scanners can detect airbag system issues, most if not all DIY scanners can't. At the end of the day, it depends on the scanner's capabilities. It is advised to regularly use your scanner for checkups or when the check engine light is on and it is particularly beneficial before long trips. Yes, many modern scanners offer wireless connectivity for a more convenient user experience. Now let's weigh the pros and cons. While effective for engine related issues, the AG310 has limitations as it can diagnose ABS and SRS issues. It's primarily focused on engine system problems. Unlike some modern scanners, the AG310 doesn't offer wireless connectivity, which may be a drawback for those seeking a cable-free experience. Additionally, the user interface of the Ansel diagnostic scanner is dated and looks like something out of Star Trek. However, at just $24.99, the Ansel AD310 is a budget-friendly option for car owners and mechanics alike. Weighing only 0.23 kg with compact dimensions, the AD310 is easy to handle and store in your vehicle. The device boasts a simple, sturdy and user-friendly design, making it accessible even for those new to car diagnostics. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.